Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Cars and Crosby. I'm on an adventure. This is what we this is what we train for, guys. This is this is a road trip. And I'm gonna go through with you guys an epic voyage. I've got my Corvette here, she's all shined up, ready for the show. And I'm just about to go over the border with it. So I wanted to um, just start the intro and go over all the details. If you can see here, my detail team has just done a stellar job at getting her all shined up and ready to go. These are an intricate wheel design, these Vossens. So I'm very happy that I did not have to spend the time to do that myself. I did do a safety checkup on my Corvette. There was a couple of recalls that needed to be done. There was a transmission control module. Um, I have a software update that's going on actually inside of the Corvette right now. And, um, you know, whenever you're doing a, a major road trip, you want to make sure that you do a, a vehicle health check. And I'm not trying to be your mom and make you, uh, you know, spend extra money for, for no apparent reason. But it would really suck if you found out that there was something that was going wrong with your vehicle and you didn't take the proactive nature of getting it done even just your tire pressure monitors i'm going on about a 1400 kilometer trip here and um if you maybe had your alignment out uh or for example like i find out that i had um one of the z51 uh, brake vent ducts that had been torn off on the underside I, I didn't have the chance to be able to film that but you know how in the owner's manual they say that you shouldn't leave those on well, there's a good reason for that. It's no longer there on the one side. It's been completely torn off. So we'll document that after we get back from the road trip. But where I'm going with this is that you wanna make sure that you have a good clean bill of health on your Corvette before you head out with it. And um, I've done that on my Corvette and I'm gonna make sure that everything, um, so I did that on my Corvette. I'm actually even doing a software update on it right now. We'll see if it's all done. It might already be done. Looks like it's already done. Well, I did a software update, which is a nice thing about these, that they have the ability to do an over the air update on them now. So um, the truck that my Corvette is gonna be going over the border on is just arriving in here. Got some Denali's, some ugly F-150s on here, a little Lamborghini in the back there, very cool. So um, I'm gonna be using the, uh, the, the OnStar Guardian app to be able to, to make sure that my Corvette goes over safely. Uh, if you guys have not seen that yet, you can track your Corvette and uh, also be able to lock and unlock it through the OnStar app. So I did activate my OnStar just to make sure that I had some extra, extra security. And then we also have valet mode and we also have team driver. So those are the two other modes that are on your Corvette that can give you a little bit more confidence about handing the keys off to somebody. So those are some features that I'm going to be taking advantage of. And I also have one more step of security just because um it's my baby i want to protect her apple has these new air tags that are out and i have hidden an air tag inside of my corvette so that i can track it if for some reason every gm fail safe uh you know security feature on the vehicle deactivates i still have an air tag that's hidden somewhere inside of my corvette so call me uh, an overreactor for getting all this stuff done but i like to make sure that i don't look like a fool when I'm traveling somewhere and I wanna make sure that I have all my, my, my T's crossed and my I's dotted. So stay tuned for more. When we get over the border, we'll go through um, that whole experience and then we're gonna be on to Pennsylvania. Steady climb, city crime infested. Ten years so divine, my blessings I injected. Hope into my lungs and spoke up things I once thought were silly dreams. I walk you through the scene. Jump on a jet and it's chartered a star. Bad in the cycle, I don't even like it. She dead it, I cannot be bothered to call. Hope you see the light, darling. Oh yes, running like four legs. Then people fall. They don't want no run-ins like bow legs. I made it. I, uh, I just took an Uber from the airport seems like I'm in like a little bit of an auto center. There's a Suburban GMC Buick behind me. Suburban's got some pretty awesome, cool commercials. Back in the day, they had the Trunk Monkey. I believe that that's the same company. They, I'm pretty sure they're a big auto group. This is a Chev lot. Pretty nice. But they're running into the same problem that all of us are. It's 
got nothing for inventory. I think he's got, he said he had 40 units. That's a nice shop. I would love to have that. Holy moly, look at that. Oof. Shop goals. <laughs> All right, so we are going to uh, pick up my Corvette now. And I've got an eight and a half hour voyage ahead of me. Uh, I'm excited. I think that there's a lot of um, things that I might see along the way. I'm going to take the scenic route. That's a lot of little windy, curvy roads. Interstates are great, but I just don't like driving in a straight line for uh, seven hours. I'd rather take an extra hour and get some curvy, uh, fun roads to look at. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, we're going to continue on with this adventure and another travel montage. All right, here we are. Whoa, welcome to Automotive Heaven. How cool is this place, guys? Digging the color on these Yodas. I like that that kind of like um, tan. What we got here? This looks like it's a Grand Sport because it has red taillights, not white taillights. The Z06s have those. It's got some carbon fiber full length rocker panels. I love the Jake logo stinger stripe. That's one of my favorite little accents that you can do. Really just livens up the car, even though it's in a basic color like Arctic white got a carbon fiber top to go with it. This is a heavy hitter, probably a heritage edition as well. Looks like it's an automatic. Oh wow, I know what this is over here. This is a D-type, these things are sick. Look at the knockoffs on this thing. These are some cool spoked rims. How cool is that? These are just absolutely gorgeous. It's a drop top. Look at the steering wheel on that. How cool is that, man? Oh, wow. Thanks, dude. Holy moly. Look at that. A feast for the eyes, boys and girls. Very cool. All right. What else we got in here? We got some more British stuff over here. We got a John Cooper Mini, an MG, and then a Bentayga. These are real fancy. I always like Bentleys. They're, they're sporty and luxurious at the same time, you know? These are kind of an interesting vehicle. They stopped production of these this year. They were very underpowered. They had like three different ways that they were moving through like a hybrid powertrain system. They're extremely complicated and very expensive. And then there is a rapid blue. Look at that. Dual Indy racing stripe, base rims on it. You know how I feel about those. Looks like it's a non Z51. There's no spoiler on it. Oh, wow. Check the interior out. It's locked, but it's the twilight blue interior on here. And then we got ourselves a Denali. Very cool inventory. Very cool. All right. Uh, I got her. She was a little dirty. It looked like it rained uh, on the way here on the transport truck and it kicked up a lot of stuff. It was just covered in dirt and it didn't look like uh, I had just detailed it. And I would be doing a disservice to my detail team if I didn't have the team at Mike Savoy here help me out. They're right around the corner from where I had my car brought in. And uh, we're a family at Chev. You know, I I went in, talked to them, broke bread. We talked about their inventory and uh, I had the detail team just give it a quick little uh, spray and because it has a ceramic coat on it, it took us a couple of minutes and look at her. She looks like she's brand new again. I love it. That's why you get a ceramic coat for these kind of reasons because I got to get on the road. I've got eight hours of driving ahead of me. Here comes the montage. The circus like so late, curving. My people got me, poppy, solid, sterling. Still resolve. Look at you, you like a cube of sugar in a pool of water. Bet you will dissolve. Had so much to prove. But no way with all, so you got no way with all, no way out. Either way, it's all gonna play out. It's all gonna play out. I never seen this type of glow. Look at the seed I plan to grow. I think they need to add a feed, but it won't be the status quo. Plot twist, the plot twist. Let's talk about some progress and objectives. If you talking about less than I'm came a long way, I'm a project. Baby, this a rolling out of Timex. She climbed me like an Ibex and tied me. I came a long way. 2010, they tried to end me, glad to see them bullets off. You still here? You missed? You bitch. 2020, Grammy nominated, bet we going off. Admittedly, I know that don't make me, but it make the rest of you fonder. Keep them all arms length like the boy by CE Honda. A Dawson, I'm flossing, I'm dripping, two commas. Trying to find a real, nothing in my viewfinder. Hey, you find them. Still resolve. Look at you, you like a cube of sugar in a pool of water. Bet you will dissolve. Had so much to prove. But nowhere with us, so you got nowhere at all. No way out. Either way, it's 
It's all gon' play out It's all gon' play out Run away with all so you got made it <laughs> man my cheeks hurt from smiling so much that was uh, just amazing I went across Ohio along Lake Erie had some fresh fried perch then I made my way down on interstate 80 uh, and then I went off the interstates and I went onto the back roads and I think it's the Appalachian Mountains uh, highway 322 holy moly Pennsylvania you have some amazing roads and that in itself was just worthy of uh, of coming down here let alone the fact that I'm in an entire city of Corvettes. It's empty right now. It's about seven o'clock at night. I got on the road at about nine, nine thirty. I got a little distracted with the suburban Cadillac and suburban Chevrolet and, and all the big dealerships that were around where my um, Corvette was landed in Troy, Michigan. because They just have these massive operations and it was a really great inspiration to see how their operations go. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this planes, trains, and automobiles episode. I'm going to be down here looking for some inspiration on future design. So this is a work trip for me. I want to see as many people as you can. And for my celebrity choice, I don't know where I'm going with it. I might go off, off uh, where I initially say, but I want to find something that's similar to mine where it's a consistent design. I wanted to make it look like Harlan Charles designed it as a design package for their... Uh, future 23 model year or something like that. That's what I'm kind of looking for. I'm hoping that I can see some things uh, that I haven't seen before and already just seeing a couple of the ones that have been left out overnight. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada, down here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Stay tuned for more awesome content and happy motoring.